Hello, Mr. Barton here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how your students can actually sign up to the website and crucially, be immediately placed inside the class that they should belong into. Now, if you're following these videos in sequence, then last video, we left it on a cliffhanger because I showed you how to create a class and generate an invite code. Now we're gonna look what that invite code actually does. So if you aren't familiar with how to create one of these invite codes, just go back and, and watch the previous video about how do I create classes. So let's imagine that um, Mr. Dumbledore here wants to get his students into this magic class. So he's clicked on invite students and he has created this invite code. Okay, so what I would do is I would project that onto the screen or maybe email it out to my students or get them to write it in their homework diaries or whatever. Just make sure they've got that invite code exactly as it is. I'm going to copy it. And then imagine I'm a student. So I'm a student, I arrive at diagnosticquestions.com and what I've got to do is I've got to get started for free or sign up, it doesn't matter. Both are going to take you to the same thing. Now I'd be tempted to model this to, to your students in the class. So make sure they choose the right one of these. So I'm a student. And then they've got to come up with uh, some info. So Craig, the student I'm going to go for. Oh, God. <laughs> Not the best of starts. Craig, and let's call myself student. Uh, password, let's just come up with something here. That's fine. Uh, date of birth. Ooh. Now, you might be thinking at this point, oh, why are they asking for our date of birth? Um, the reason is not, nothing dodgy, like this data is all anonymized and stuff, but it just means that we can do some amazing st uh, statistical analysis on uh, year sevens versus year 11s and all that kind of stuff. So uh, as I say, nothing dodgy there, I promise. <laughs> Let's not put my real date of birth in, it might, it might break the system here. So let's, let's assume that I was born in the year 2000. And I'm a male. Um, if students want to give an email address, they can at that stage. It, again, nothing dodgy going on here. It just means we can notify them when quizzes are due and all that kind of stuff. And when they're ready, create student account. Uh, doesn't want me to save my password. No, I'm fine. And then you'll see there straight away, we try to make this as simple as possible. The first thing they see is the class code. So if they've pasted that, uh, copied that from before, they simply paste that in there. They click join class. And fingers crossed, if all goes to plan, that will immediately put them into the magic class. So there we go, magic, there's one student, there's no assignment set yet for this, this group. But if I now go back to here and I refresh my page, hopefully this will work. Fingers crossed it will tell me, oh, look at that now. I've now got one student in my magic class. And if I click edit, then I'm gonna to start to see some information about who that student is and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, sorry, no, I don't see, <laughs> flipping heck, help if I knew my way around my own site. Um, yeah, so you've got your one student in there, and if I click magic there, that's when I'm gonna see that Craig student has joined, and I can keep a track of all that. And now, once all my kids have joined, I'm in a perfect position where I can start allocating them quizzes and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, hope that was useful. Bye for now.